In addition to support for fully responsive slideshows, accordions, and composition widgets, Adobe Muse allows you to convert existing Muse forms to fully responsive multi-column designs. Let's take a closer look at this feature in action. I'm here in Adobe Muse, and I'm in the process of updating a contact form that I've built in an older version of Muse to support the new responsive features. Now, if we take a quick look at the way the world used to be, what you'll see is because you could not define a fluid width contact form, what designers tend to do is add multiple breakpoints on the page to adjust a form. You'll notice that by default, this form is pretty narrow. There's a lot of space on the left and right, but that allows me to get away with having to add less breakpoints using that old feature set. So if I press and drag my breakpoint gripper here, there'll come a point where the form is going to be off center. So I used to have to add a breakpoint and come on in and adjust the location of the form so that it centers again. I can come and continue, and when things start to get misaligned one more time, add another breakpoint, and so on. So although this approach works, you end up with some white space on the side. Notice how I began with a lot of space. I've got less and less space as I move into the smaller breakpoints, and I also have unnecessary additional breakpoints. Let's go ahead and delete those extra breakpoints. And I'm going to come in and define the form with the fluid feature set. So I'll come in and select this first form field. And notice that by default, it's pinned to the left and it's locked. I now have the capability, even though this is an older form, to come in and set its resize value to responsive width. Muse automatically knows that I want to use percentage-based pinning for this object since it's set to fluid width. I can come and actually select same, so select all three fields and make sure that that same attribute is set for responsive width. I really don't like buttons to be fluid in width. I think that's rather odd. So I'm going to keep that as a locked percentage, so not fluid in width, but I'm going to uncheck the pinning attribute so that it moves along with the rest of the content. Now I'm free to come on in here and take advantage of the space that I have I'm going to go ahead and extend the form, not all the way to the edge, but a bit further. I'll select these same form fields, and I'll press and drag to just balance it out so it's more centered on the page, right about there. Now that I have that set, I can come into the gripper bar here, and as I press and drag, notice first off that the form stays centered, and second, that it is respecting the percentage width, so it's scaling based on the width of this breakpoint. Now, once again, what I'm showing you applies to new contact forms as you build them or any of the old contact forms that you open in the newest version of Muse. I encourage you to give this a try.